Today we are checking out the newest axe added to Lumber Tycoon 2 called the Frost Axe. Added in a present during the 2022 Christmas event, it is no longer sold in stores and you can only get this axe from other players. As the name hints, the Frost Axe deals the most damage to ice wood and has a quick chop rate. It isn't meant to be used for chopping any other wood because it does less damage. I actually need to get some ice wood to expand the slide behind me, so let's go ahead and head out to the snow biome with this brand new axe to show you why this axe is so great. And we're also going to go ahead and bring a snowmobile with us, so we're just going to drop it off the edge and go down with it. And oh, okay, uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll chase after that, it's just slowly flying away. So to get to the ice wood biome, we first have to enter the snow wood biome, and we can only do that with some dynamite, or if you want, you can use a snowmobile to get around the boulders. If you want to go ahead and remove the boulders so you can let your larger truck drive by, you can use some dynamite, but by the looks of it, uh, there is a gap. Ooh, we can barely not pass through there. So let's go ahead and use some dynamite to go ahead and clear the way. And there we go. The boulders will respawn soon, so that's why I have uh, two pieces of dynamite with me. There's also that floating boulder there, so we'll just ignore that. And I'll show you where we'll use our snowmobile later on once we get further up the mountain. I trust that you probably know how to get to the ice wood biome, but if you don't, you want to go ahead and head to the back of the snow biome over here and you'll see this ramp that goes upwards. It's very simple after that, you just follow the ramp all the way up. And we are about as far as our truck will let us go, so we're going to go ahead and take our snowmobile out of the car and go ahead and use it to get the rest of the way. So it turns out that using the snowmobile isn't that great, especially for getting ice wood. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it down there and respawn one once we get back to our base. But we're not going to use it to get any more ice wood. And here we are in this uh, ice wood biome where we can go ahead and show off the brand new frost axe. As you can see, the axe does have a clear axe head, which is sort of reminiscent of the amber axe and has icicles glowing, growing on it as well. And this is the best axe for chopping ice wood, even though there's the mini axe, which does more damage than this per swing, I think. I don't, don't take my word for that. But this axe does have a high chop rate and does excep exceptional damage to these trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, chop off these random limbs and go ahead and get a ton of this so we can build that slide, which you can still see in the distance. And the best way to get ice wood back to your base is just throwing it down the slide and then retrieving it later on once you are done collecting it. And even if you aren't using ice wood to build with, it is... Oh gosh, I don't know what just happened to the axe. It was like uh, stuck in front of me for a second at a crooked angle. But like I was saying, even if you are going to be using ice wood to build with, it is still a fantastic axe to have because ice wood is actually one of the best woods to farm in the game. I think it sells for more than lava wood, but the problem is that it does take longer to harvest and bring back to your base. So lava wood is still number one for harvesting, especially if you have the fire axe, which makes chopping it a lot easier. This frost axe is probably the equivalent to uh, the fire axe, except for this biome. And it is nighttime up here, so we're going to go ahead and head back to our base once we go ahead and get the rest of the frost wood or ice wood back in our vehicle. So let's go ahead and go back to our truck and drive it down. And one thing I'm not 100% sure of is I, I think these like patches of snow are new to the game because we have snow there. There's, I think there's some there. If you look at my cursor, there's some there and there's also some there. And I don't remember that always being there. So I'm sort of convinced that's new, but maybe there's like a secret tunnel under them. I don't know, but it'll be worth checking out at some point. And finally, to collect the ice wood, you just have to drive back to the main biome around where the cabin is and you will notice this opening. That's where all the wood shoots out of and it's just scattered around. So we're going to go ahead, collect it all, chop off the small limbs and then haul it back to our base for sawmilling. So that is it for today's video, everyone. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you did find some helpful information in it. If you do stay tuned for the next video, I'm going to go ahead and finish sawmilling this so that we can go ahead, expand the slide and ride some snowmobiles down it. So everyone, I hope you had a Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.